Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Well, I'm going to show you something today that was really a lot of fun. I told you the other day about the puzzle that I did with um, Claudine Kreiner a few years back and how much fun it was. During that video, I mentioned to you that we had also done a deck of cards. And I've been seeing lately out there that there are some other individuals and groups that are doing cards and they have these cute little names for them and everything. But we never really had a fancy name. But I tell you, it was so much fun. I don't know how Claudine came up with the ideas all the time for us to do. But um, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. And I I would do a challenge like that again. We did, just like the puzzle pieces, we did approximately two cards a week. And there were situations that happened, you know, during that time. So it kind of gave you catch-up time when um, she wasn't able to do a challenge with you that week. But it was so much fun. None of us, none of us cared. I mean, we would have waited forever for, you know, whatever it took. Um, I want to show you this little gadget here. This, I hope I can kind of give it justice. It's a spinner. And this is what I had my cards on for a little while. I see it's a little dusty. <laughs> excuse me. But um, this is what I had my 52 cards, or excuse me, 54 cards on for a little while to show them off. Um, this is from Seven Gypsies. And I don't believe they even make it anymore. Um, I had bought a bunch of them at the time, and luckily for me, there was a punch that came, that you could purchase, excuse me, that it would punch out these notches on these um, cards, and thank heavens, like I said, I got that punch, because it's easy to make cards, but it's not so easy necessarily to make that thing punched right, and this is... This is a little old. I have another one in the works. But this is pretty funny. This is a copy of the first recipe column I ever did for our local newspaper. I did that for about 10 years. And um, it was fun. And I never got a, an ounce of money for it. I did it just because. And, I mean, I don't know. I'd get recognized places. It was a hoot. Um, but it kind of became a job, and I didn't need another job, especially a non-paying job. But anyhow, I, I, you know me, I get sidetracked. But these are the cards that I wanted to show you, and of course, you know, it's been a little while back, so I can't necess tell, necessarily tell you, you know, what our process was or our theme was. And I've not looked at these. I pulled them out of the binder where I have them now with my other ATCs. And I figured we would just do this together. And I know that I have these cards in the order in which I did them. And it's kind of sad, but, you know, that's a little bit of perhaps OCD kicking in. But I I like order when it comes to this kind of stuff. So let's see if I can show these to you now without a whole lot of glare. And I know there are different stages of people out there with their skill. But for the most part, you know, I think many of you can figure out, you know, what I did on these cards. And, uh, and like I said, it was fun. Looks like maybe something turned loose right there. <laughs> and this stamp right here is for some reason that fella is my favorite stamp i've also stamped him on um some tiles that i use as coasters so three-dimensional there but there was a process on every one of these that she was teaching i think this was a digi stamp and like I said before, she's one of the individuals, I guess the individual that taught us, taught me about digi stamps. I can see this one is collaging with faces. 
that is something that I have always struggled with. And to this day, when I see people do collages and they piece faces together, I just, the imagination just gets me. So, pretty cool, huh? Like I said, I had a lot of fun, and I just wanted to share it with you. So, you know, and you don't necessarily have to join anybody's challenge or, you know, attend one of their workshops. You can just always do this on your own as well. There are a lot of Facebook groups I know that have challenges and are showing techniques. And you could always just follow along with something like that, or if someone comes and shows you, you know, what they've been up to, kind of take that and run with it yourself. But this challenge took me definitely out of my comfort zone and had me do things that I would have never have done. And, you know, we even did the Jokers. So it was 54 cards, and which kind of works out nice when you put them in sleeves like this, because 54 divided by 9 is 6 full pages. And, uh, you know, this would be a fun thing to do also if, you know, you were having a group of crafters together, because everybody has scraps and embellishments. You know, when they do mixed media of any kind, you know, scrapbookers, you know, people that paint or watercolor, you know, everybody has something that they they could do to the card. Now, you know, I have been asked before if I did it to the front of the card or the back of the card. I always did it to the back of the card. Now, not everyone was that way, but I said to myself, you know, you could play with my cards. You know, you could play a game of cards with mine um, because you can still see the numbers and the faces. So I hope you enjoy seeing this. Um, this was, again, probably, you know, would have taken us 27 weeks. This was probably the better part of a year because, like I said, you know, life happens and you kind of have to stop and, and catch up with your family and personal things always come first. So anyhow... Thanks for coming by, and I will see you down the road sometime, and we'll have us a conversation and a cup of coffee, or maybe a glass of water. Thanks. Bye.